Hey everybody, happy Saturday. Meteorologist Dave Downey here watching the threat for severe weather today along and west of I-35. Severe thunderstorm watches up until 10 p.m. tonight just issued. Recording this just after 4 p.m. here on Saturday. All hazards possible. We're talking damaging winds, large hail, even a couple tornadoes as well. We'll dive into those details in just a second. Uh, after today, a much uh, more benign weather pattern over the next several days. We're going to be below average through at least midweek and dry for a little while as well. Next rain chance doesn't arrive until late in the work week. So here's that severe weather outlook from the Storm Prediction Center. Much of central Iowa, basically the central two thirds of the state is in that level two out of five risk. So not that level three or four we saw you know, several weeks back. So not quite as high of a risk. Here's the tornado threat. This was updated this morning. Pretty much this entire area was in that green shade. They added, they as in the Storm Prediction Center, <clears throat> added this uh, brown section kind of along and south of I-35 along or along and south of I-80, I should say, along I-35 for that low risk. So we've been upgraded a little bit for tornadoes. I think the best chance of anything today is really some damaging winds. We've already seen gusts upwards of 50, 60, 65 miles per hour before any of the storms got here. So similar area for that low to medium chance of wind threat. Hail is going to be kind of centralized west of I-35 where the storms first get firing uh, this afternoon. So here's future cast. Roll it through. We'll stop it here at 530. It gets into uh, Guthrie Green counties by then or approaching Green County by then. I think Des Moines is probably up around 630 or 7 o'clock with that Boeing line of storm. But you see how that's kind of a Boeing line here. That should limit the tornado threat the further east this line gets as they kind of get more organized together. That uh, lessens that tornado threat. Then watch what happens later on tonight. Here's 10 o'clock, another secondary line with the actual cold front itself brings its way in here. I'm not sure if this line has as much chance of happening. If it does, the severe risk is near zero. Uh, everything gets out of here after midnight. Temperatures diving down into the mid to upper 40s overnight tonight. So that's one model. Let's take a look now at a different model. It's pretty similar in the first several hours. We'll stop it here at 6. See that Boeing line? That could have some pretty damaging wind gusts across Cass into Audubon, Guthrie counties, even into Greene County. Here's 7 o'clock, so the models agree Des Moines time is about 6.30 or 7 this evening. It gets out of here by you know, 9 or 10, but instead of having that second line, this model, I think this one is probably going to be more accurate. It's just got some uh, showers, maybe some embedded thunder in these, but again, the severe threat after about 9 or 10 o'clock lessens substantially. Maybe some sprinkles after midnight, but again, the severe threat is done. Uh, but, you know, a couple hours after sunset. So here are those severe threats. I think the number one threat today is damaging winds. The tornado threat has increased somewhat, still low. Large hail threat is low primarily in western Iowa, very well west of I-35, and flash flooding threat uh, tonight is low. Tomorrow we dry out, but the wind is back. Not quite as windy as today. Uh, still gusts to 30 or 35 miles per hour are possible. And then for the three-day forecast, we are cooling down big time uh, for Monday and Tuesday. Here's your whole plumbing heating 10-day forecast. Today is the warmest day of the next 10. Uh, the next rain chance arrives uh, Thursday and Friday.